Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Ohio Blade HQ. And today we got something a little bit different. This is venturing into the custom knives. And what I needed was a fillet knife. Um, my dad and I are planning a fishing trip and I wanted to do something nice for him. So I bought him a custom fillet knife that he can use to clean all of his fish. So this is from a uh, custom knife maker named Bill Akers and uh, he runs Backwoods Custom Knives and that's here in Ohio which is cool. Um, very close by and you know makes amazing knives from what I can see. So this is this is actually my first one that I've purchased and uh, actually I bought another one but I'll do that I'll show that one in another video but um, you know, you got really high quality leather, you know, all hand stitched and and um, handmade. And you got just a simple belt loop. Now, uh, my understanding is Bill doesn't make these, but he he has a a buddy that makes these. But you know, the very nice for tension. I mean, that's that's not going anywhere. Now, what really caught my eye about his knives are these, well, number one, the craftsmanship, but then number two, these these really pretty handle scales. So he, he has some of the most amazing wood burls that I've seen, and this is definitely one of those. So this is maple, and it has blue tang liners, which really sets off that, that crazy maple burl. Um, Got a nice big long fillet knife there, and you can see his logo backwoods with the knife emblem. Um, it's it's very light. Um, you got nice thin blades, and you know I'll, I'll bring out my cutting board here. Um, it does flex like it's supposed to for a fillet knife. All right, so you can you can flex that and get under the skin of that fish. But, um, I mean, the, the quality and craftsmanship on this thing is nuts. I mean, there is no spot on here where you can even feel an edge. Um, if I had my eyes closed, I'd think I was feeling a one solid piece. I mean, there is no raised edges anywhere on this. Um, you got those nice pass through pins there and it just it feels amazing it's it's very light um, the blade steel on this is 52 100 which is a very common steel to choose for um, custom knife makers that are, are making outdoors knives now 52 100 is it, it, it's not a stainless steel so uh, you do have to worry about corrosion. It does have a little bit of chromium in it, um, so that, that helps with the corrosion resistance. But, um, you know, it's it's not going to have the edge retention of something like S30V or, you know, some of the other high, higher-end stainless steels. But it does have really high toughness. Um, so a lot of folks compare this to 1095, um, and, you know, there, there's some debate about it, but, you know, there's... A lot of folks that believe that the 52100 is a, um, a tougher steel than 1095 and you know potentially has better edge retention. Speaking of edge retention, uh, let's take a look at the bevel on this guy. Um, you can see that that grind on there is just beautiful, um, and that is that's all done by hand, right? That's not a machine. Putting that on, he's holding that against the grinder and putting that on, and you can see how nice and uniform that is. Um, sharpness, I haven't done anything with this knife. This, this is actually, you know, I've, I've taken it out of the box, I've taken it out of the sheath, and that is it. I actually, actually haven't cut anything with it yet, but um, you know, it, it feels nice and sharp. So I, I do have the standard printer paper here, so we can we can test that and see. 
See how sharp she is. Oh yeah. Nice and sharp. Well, I can get a good angle on it here. Let's see. There we go. Nice. Nice. Very nice. So it comes good and sharp. Um, I actually brought out a little tomato. We can do some cutting on the tomato and see how she slices, because that's really what the fillet knife is about, right? So we can see if we can get any uh, thin pieces off the uh, tomato here. Bring it up a little bit. Hopefully I don't cut my finger off here. So let me, let me cut this and get away from the stem here. And then we'll uh, see if we can fillet this baby. There you go. Got a nice little piece there. Yeah, there you go. You got a nice, nice thin wafer there. But uh, yeah, she slices nice. I don't have to remember to wipe this guy off. I didn't actually bring a towel out or anything, which was a mistake. But there we go. So really uh, beautiful blade. Um, I, I think my dad's gonna enjoy this this fillet knife. Um, it really is a, a work of art in my opinion. Um, that handle is just amazing and it, it feels perfect in the hand. It really does. Um, the, the ergos on that is is just fantastic and uh, yeah, I'm I'm happy with that with that purchase. So, as with a lot of custom knife makers, um, this stuff doesn't come cheap, right? So, this knife, uh, two hundred and sixty bucks. So, it's quite a bit for a fillet knife when you consider you can go to uh, basically any outdoor store and pick up a. You know, ten or fifteen dollar fillet fillet knife, but um, I I didn't want to go that route. I wanted to get something special, something handmade, and something that was uh, designed to my specifications. Right. So that that's that's the nice thing about custom knives is, you know, you can get them pretty much any way you like. And so you know, I picked out the wood. I picked out the the tang liners, and uh, yeah. I think I think it turned out really nice. Um, you can see those grind lines on there. It looks pretty. But anyways, uh, that's the that's the fillet knife. So just thought I'd show that to you before I handed that off to my dad. And uh, let me know what you guys think about that. So thanks for watching.